put the lamp into the current, please make sure the number of the lamp holder matches the number in the turret. You can put eight lamps at the same time in the turret with one lamp working and the second lamp preheating. In the middle of the instruments is the optimization compartment. This is the mixing room. In the front will connect the nebulizer. The top position is to put burner. This tube is for accepting gas. This one is for support air. This is for air. This belt is to adjust the position of the burner. On the left side of the compartment is the flame sensor. Here is the light path. On the right side, this is the igniter of flame. To install the burner, put the burner hardly into the holder. There is a, a red line at the bottom of the burner. Make sure it is in the middle of the holder. After installing the burner, place the baffle behind the burner. There is a track on both sides of the compartment. Simply place the baffle along with the trail. Let's have a look at the rear of the instrument. This is for power cord. This is for connecting water trap. There is a plastic tube underneath the system. It is for the waste water from mixing room. Connect it with the water trap. and fix the trap onto the system. Place the other side of the tube into waste bottom. After installing the liquid trap, we need to fill in with the DI water through the hole on the top until there is a water flow through this tube. Take these accessories from the accessory box. Connect the tube with a screw nut and then place the tube onto the instrument. Screw tight with a spanner. At one side of the filter, there is a screw nut. Place the other side of the tube through the nut and fix it onto the filter.
This side of the filter should connect in with a hose with the same color as the tube. By using the clamp to fix the hose onto the filter, put the one side of the hose through the, a clamp and push the filter halfway into the hose and screw the screw tight of the clamp to fix the hose. Uh, this is the main valve for accepting cylinder. This is a valve to adjust the pressure of the outlet. So when open the, pre the valve for the cylinder, the main meter will show the pressure inside the cylinder. And once the pre this pressure is less than 0 0.3, you need to change the, uh, the cylinder. And then rotate this valve to adjust uh, the outlet pressure. The pressure of outlet should be 0 0.07. And this hose connect with A500. This is air compressor that offers air after unpackage. Please make sure to remove the two screws at the bottom. This is air outlet, power switch, dashboard, release valve, a regulator. Firstly, take the nebulizer out of the box with one o-ring, two screws, one head, nebulizer body, and one capillary. And prepare a spanner, a screwdriver, and a bottle of DI water for the installation of nebulizer. Firstly, to take off the screw nut on the nebulizer body, put it through the end of the air tube and then connect with the nebulizer body. Tighten with the spanner. I put one O-ring on the nebulizer body. Connect the capillary with the nebulizer. I put the head on the nebulizer body. To use the air compressor, first you to switch on the power and pull the regulator upward and rotate the regulator to adjust the pressure to 0 0.25 and then put the regulator back to the original position. Put the other side of the capillary into the DI water. Adjust the nebulizer by rotating, by rotating it from 45 degrees to the left from center to 45 degrees to the right. The ideal basis of the nebulizer should have with this straight put forward and has the teeth frog as big as possible, like right now. Gently put the nebulizer inside the mixing room. Make sure do not touch the mixing, the inner wall of the mixing room, because uh, the nebulizer is fragile. And then put one screw inside the nebulizer and fix it with a screwdriver. and then put the other screw inside and tighten with the screwdriver. And tighten both screws to make sure it's in ideal position.